Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. Today we will demonstrate a closed loop high frequency PWM PC fan controller. First of all, I need to explain this long title. From right to left, this is a controller for PC fans with brushless motors and for wires. It uses high frequency PWM pulses to control the speed with a usual way of changing the duty cycle of the pulses. But what does the closed loop mean? A closed loop system is a system that, when it executes a command, it checks if the command was successfully carried out, and if not, then it makes all the necessary steps to complete the command. This circuit performs a closed loop PC fan controller. Unlike the other controllers that I have made, in this circuit the potentiometer will not directly change the duty cycle. Instead, it sets an RPM reference value. The controller runs continuously a loop. This loop goes something like this. The first step is to read the potentiometer's value and translate it into an RPM value using uh, the analog to digital converter. Then it reads the current fan speed from the TAFO. After comparing these two values, it decides whether it's gonna increase or decrease the duty cycle in order to match the fan speed with the reference value of the potentiometer. This loop runs once every 250 milliseconds, that is 4 times every second. Let's see now the circuit in operation. On the oscilloscope screen, you can see the feedback from the Tacho. Right now, the frequency is around 20 Hz. You can see the frequency yourself if you look on the bottom left corner of the oscilloscope. To convert this frequency into an RPM value, you need to multiply the frequency by the number 30. The speed now is actually 600 RPM. Now I rotate the potentiometer to increase the speed. At that position, I expect the frequency to be about 45 Hz, and that is around 1350 RPM. You can see now that slowly the speed is increased. The same will happen of course when I decrease the speed. But the goal of this circuit is not only to change the speed of the fan, but to maintain it. I have set the speed of the fan back to 600 RPM. Using this thermal gun, with the resistor turned off, I will blow air with full power against the fan. This will increase the air resistance and will cause the fan to slow down. Now look at the oscilloscope. You can see that the speed of the fan has been decreased. I will keep blowing air against the fan. Notice that gradually the fan will increase the speed. What this means is that the controller is actually increasing the duty cycle to increase the torque of the motor. When I stop blowing air against the fan, you will notice that the speed is significantly increased. That is because the controller had already increased the duty cycle in order to increase the torque on the fan. Now that the fan runs free again, this torque is translated into higher RPM. Yet, the controller will again correct this error and will decrease the duty cycle to restore the original speed. I will now change the probe and the time base of the oscilloscope. Right now, on the screen you can see the PWM pulses. I will run the previous experiment to see how the controller reacts into a large scale RPM change. From low RPM, I will go to high RPM. The duty cycle starts to increase. There will be a point where you will see that the duty cycle will be decreased. This is normal as due to inertia, the fan cannot increase the speed as fast as the duty cycle is increased. Therefore, the fan will overspeed and the controller will decrease the duty cycle to counter this increment. This is done a couple of times until the speed is finally centered. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects.